Hi, welcome everybody. This is Alyssa Helfman, your art director here at Paper Street. And today I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how to add a Google Chrome extension to your browser. And you can start testing out websites to see if they're optimized for responsiveness. This is a really great tool to see, you know, how a site looks on an iPad or a mobile phone or um, any other device that comes with this, you know, extension. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead, open up a Google search page and type in Chrome extensions. You can see right here, it comes up right at the top. Click on extensions. And in the Chrome web store, the extension is actually called responsive web design tester. So type that in. And you'll see a few different options here with apps and extensions, but this one right here is the extension that we're talking about. You can see how well it's been rated. Um, I've already added it, so it does give me that indication, but you would go ahead and click on this and go through all the prompts to add this to your browser. And then once you've added it, you'll see a little icon that looks just like this that will pop up in your browser window and it'll be at the top so it's always accessible to you to use on any website. I'll go ahead and show you uh, an example of one of our websites here at Paper Street that's definitely been optimized for responsiveness and that's Bloom Legal. So Bloom Legal is loading. You can see that there's a background video. There's some really cool portal buttons. And what we're viewing right now is the desktop version of the site. If I go ahead and use this icon up here, you can see that it's asking me to select a device. There's many options here um, with Android phones, Android tablet versions. There's some more miscellaneous options like the Blackberry or the Kindle Fire. There's um, an iPad selection, so you can use you know, the landscape view or the portrait view, even iPad mini. Then there's a couple of different options for iPhone, iPhone 4 and iPhone 5. They haven't updated it yet to include the iPhone 6, but I'm sure they will do that soon. So let's start with the iPad portrait. I tend to think that most people view their iPad and the portrait versions. It's easier to hold and easier to read. Now what you can see with this site is that it actually has been designed specifically for um, a portrait, an iPad portrait view. The design does change from the desktop version as you see back here. We've now removed the video. Um, sometimes video just doesn't load as well. It slows down the site when you're viewing it in a smaller device like an iPad or a mobile phone. Um, the menu's been condensed down. You know, just to bring you back over here to the, the desktop version, you can see the menu is laid out. Well, on uh, smaller devices, sometimes you don't have the space for that. So the menu here is a little drop down menu. You can select what you'd like. And we've now condensed the portals to these. They're not, you know, they're not the same kind of like hover state that you see with the other ones, but that's because you can't have a hover state on mobile versions. You can just click on something and touch it. It's all, you know, touch-based devices. So you can see that this device has been optimized for um, tablet view. So I'll click off of here and let's take a look at the iPhone version. I'm going to select iPhone 5 since that's the most recent one they offer. And you can see similar to the iPad version, this has been optimized for mobile. It has the get a consultation at the very top, um, a phone number here, which if you're on your phone, you could just you know click this directly with your finger and it would actually call the number. There's a menu button here, does the same thing as I showed you earlier on the iPad version, and the four portal buttons. Actually, there's a fourth one that's been added because it really creates the balance on a phone and it has a get a consultation. So you can see that this has been really optimized for a mobile phone as well. That's what you're looking for when you have a responsive site, that it works on all of these different devices. And this extension is a great way to test that out. You might want to test your own site. For example, if you're a Paper Street client, you can you know, use your beta testing link that we give you before your site launches, install this extension, and see how you know, it looks in all these different devices. Or maybe you want to test out a competitor. Is their site responsive? You can use the extension 
and take a look. So thank you again for tuning in. And if you have any questions about responsiveness, you can ask me, Alyssa Helfman, your art director here at Paper Street, and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Thanks.